Hello, everyone. I um, want to give you a run by of the Sonicor heaters. Uh, there's various models. They're pretty much all made out of surgical stainless steel. Um, this one here that you're seeing right now is uh, the Ultimate. It's the 7.5, 7.5 kilowatt Ultimate. That size body goes from 7.5, 9, and 10.5. And it's a residential wall mount. Uh, the features of this is it holds a larger amount of rocks, more into the cavity. Um, the benefits of it, it has a deflector, which just deflects the heat more towards the inner part of the room than uh, just going straight up to the top of the ceiling. Uh, another benefit of this is, uh, one, it's all surgical stainless steel, which is non-toxic metal. It will never rust. There's lifetime warranty on this heater. Um, it's extremely well ventilated. That's a, a big flaw in a lot of heaters is they heat up really, really hot inside and they have to radiate the heat out through the body to heat the room. This is actually very well ventilated beneath the heater, uh, to the side of the heater, around the top of the heater. You can see it all here. This is all venting, venting. Um, very, very well built heater, very durable. Um, here is a little smaller version, a two and a three kilowatt come in this size. So, sorry about all the fingerprints on it, but um, display model. Uh, wall mount, this one happens to have the controls built right on it. All the residential models have the option of uh, mechanical controls built on it or wall mount mechanical controls. Uh, this size is the 5, the 4, the 5, and the 6 kilowatt. It's, uh, there's three physical sizes in body. This is the ultimate. Uh, Incoloy heating elements. Uh, the design of the layout of the elements is each one is placed vertically in the heater. Being placed vertically is each one gives off heat, and the heat rises and escapes. Some models on the market, the elements are stacked horizontal, one over the other. Well, unfortunately, the highest one does not have the longest life because it gets overcooked by the bottom ones, poor ventilation. Uh, this is a very well ventilated heater, very efficient airflow through the heater. Um, made in Canada, Canadian made, CSA approved for Canada and US. Very, very, very good heater. 7.5 to 10.5 has a mounting. Uh, they have mounting brackets that go on the wall, they're universal, you can mount them flat on the wall or in the corner. Um, the 7.5 has the little bracket on the bottom as you can see there, just uh, normally that touches the floor just to give it a little extra support because of all the amount of rocks it holds. The controls that are available for this are the uh, mechanical controls that were built in. Uh, we also have digital controls. Uh, state-of-the-art again very quiet reliable uh, small that gets recessed into the wall um, it handles up to a six kilowatt after anything higher than a six kilowatt you have to use a contactor a relay um, it does the time the temperature 60 minutes or 90 Celsius or 190 Fahrenheit and it has an auxiliary output very very good heater and very advanced controls now we have the special edition model. This is the seven and a half to to ten and a half kilowatt size, very large body. Uh, the rock tray uh, stops here, so it does not fit the whole cavity of rocks. Because of that, the elements have a lot of air in in and around them inside the body, so there's even more airflow compared to the ultimate model. Very well ventilated. Uh, again, with a deflector that deflects heat into the room. The beauty of this is the rock tray, the grill inside has a lip here and here, so the rocks only stay in this position. The heat escapes from here and from the back. So all the heat escapes, there's venting along the front, venting at the bottom, CSA approved again, wall mount, corner flat wall, uh, surgical stainless steel, triple body design there's layers of body inside that wrap around the elements this is a two and a three kilowatt with uh, the controls built on it now keep in mind 
all sizes of the residential wall mount heaters can have the controls built on it. Um, then we go to the six, the four, five, and six kilowatt. This is the wall mount again, the four and five and the six. This is the special edition model. Uh, rocks, deflector, uh, you know, you know, corner mount, flat wall mount. Very, very efficient, durable Canadian made heaters. That's what they are. Um, the steam vaporizer is exactly like this model. The only difference is it has a reservoir. The reason it's called a steam vaporizer is there is a funnel spout in the back. You pour about a liter of water or quart down into that spout. It goes into a reservoir. You turn on the heater, the heater heats up, the reservoir heats up the water and it starts creating humidity. It creates humidity for inside the steam room. So this is the residential heaters, um, the ultimate, the special edition, the steam vaporizer model, this is the ultimate. Uh, the standard model looks just like the special edition but it's not all stainless. All the elements are vertical, all the elements are ink alloy elements, uh, very durable. One of the best proper elements to use for a sauna application. Um, Excellent warranty, mechanical wall mount controls, digital controls, built-in controls. The heaters come with the controls. They come standard with the mechanical controls. And if it needs a contactor for the 7.5 kilowatt and higher, it comes with those also. Now we're going to move over to the commercial heaters. It's on, of course, uh, standard uh, HD and the ULTC6. These are the two. Um... The thing with these two is, again, very durable, six elements, floor mount, uh, the standard commercial is partially galvanized, partially stainless, holds a basket of rocks, again, only up to, up to this line, um, six elements. The thing with the elements is, when you have the kilowatts, the kilowatts of the heater spread over more amount of elements so what it is is if you have a 15 kilowatt heater you have two and a half kilowatt elements some manufacturers give you less element but higher wattage elements to equal 15 kilowatt well higher the wattage element the less it lives the, l the lifespan is much less because it's given off more heat per square inch and it gets much hotter so we don't do that we give you more elements lower wattage elements Low density elements, very good quality ink alloy heating elements, extremely well ventilated body, a lot of airflow, triple body design, there's triple layers of body on the inside, all stainless. This is the ultimate, which is completely stainless steel, extremely well ventilated, holds a lot more rocks, they all have the deflector that deflects heat towards the inner room and not just up to the ceiling or right up against the back wall. Now the thing with this model is there's an option of the steam vaporizer, an automatic steam vaporizer. You could plumb water into a reservoir that has a uh, automatic fill float valve. It accepts water, the water goes into the elements, in, well not into the elements, in between the elements right into the heater. Um, that water boils and creates humidity. It minimizes the user, especially in a public application, to throw water on the rocks. Very, very good heater. Again, it comes with mechanical controls or the digital controls. Anything 9 kilowatt and higher on this model comes with the contactor. They all come with the rocks. Excellent, excellent commercial heater. One of the, one of the most toughest longest lasting most durable heaters on the market especially for commercial doesn't rust low app low density heating elements digital or mechanical controls triple body design very 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 tough heaters manufactured in canada csa approved for canada and u.s